Hi, this is Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, premier executive resume writing company, and thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to talk about three ways executives can get found on LinkedIn. Now, I'm going to probably do another video on three things you can do to find opportunity on LinkedIn, but today we're going to talk about what you can do to get found on LinkedIn. And to get found, although that may sound passive in nature, getting found on LinkedIn is an active pursuit. You, things you have to do in order to get found on LinkedIn. So, so let's jump in and let's talk about it. So the first is to key, properly keyword optimize your LinkedIn profile using the keywords that are pertinent to what a recruiter would use to find someone like you. Um, hints on how to do this, you can gather them from uh, target job descriptions, you can look at uh, profiles of people who hold the jobs that you that you want, um, you can do uh, research based on what the company's goals and pursuits are, so this way um, you can include those keywords that are relevant to those goals and pursuits. It may not be the same as to what you know, what's been in, uh, you know, uh, profiles of leaders of past. So don't assume that somebody worked, you know, in a former position that uh, uh, formerly worked at the job that you want, that they're all properly keyword optimized. If the company's going in a different direction, you might need a different set of keywords and goals and achievements and impact that uh, are relevant to where they're going versus where they've been. So the first thing to do to get found more easily and more readily on LinkedIn is to keyword optimize your profile in the proper way for the jobs that you're pursuing. The second thing that you can do to increase the odds of you getting found on LinkedIn is to comment on leaders of the target company you want to work for. Uh, comment on posts, actually, that is. Comment on the posts of the leaders that are at the company where you want to work. Now, comment strategically, consistently, mindfully, thoughtfully, and then after a certain period of time, reach out to them and ask for a conversation, you know, indicate how you've enjoyed their posts or they've been thought provoking, or maybe there's, you know, hopefully there's been even a dialogue back and forth on those posts. Um, but I would then, after doing it a few times, and you you know when, it might be after one, it might be after three comments. It, it's going to vary per person. It's going to vary, you know, it's not some formulaic amount. Um, but when you feel it's the right time and be, you know, more aggressive than less, in my opinion, more assertive than less um, in making that determination, once you've commented a few times on their posts, then reach out for a conversation and you know be strategic and, and deliberate in how you have that conversation and see where it goes. Um, but you get found by them being familiar who by who you are since you've commented a few times. Now you're they know who you are. So essentially you've been found um, because you've put yourself out there a little bit. And then the third way to maximize um, your uh, ways of getting found on LinkedIn is to um, maximize your connections. And you need a minimum of 500 connections in order to complete or, or contribute to the completion of the algorithm of your profile, the, the, what, what the algorithm looks for in your profile. Um, again, that is an observation. No one really knows what's in the algorithm per se, but LinkedIn likes to see you have a minimum of 500 connections as far as considering your profile, one of the things to consider your profile being complete, but I would go well beyond that number, authentically and genuinely, of course. But, um, and then, you know, when you maximize your connections, you are now part of the webs of all of those individuals' connection webs. So when a recruiter who might be a second degree connection of one of your connections does a search, you're more readily you know, able to come up in that second degree recruiters search. Well, increase your connections so you have more second degree connections. You have more third degree connections. So the more first degree connections you have, obviously your second and third degree connections go up exponentially, which increase the odds of you being found. If you have 200 connections or 50 connections, it's going to be hard to find you because you're not in that many connection webs. But when you have 2,000 connections or 15,000 connections, again, genuinely and meaningfully, 
However your strategy is, some people only connect with people they know, others do it more tangentially. There's no wrong or right way. It's just a matter of what works for you as far as the strategy that you want to implement for your goals. But once you have that strategy and then you're implementing that strategy, make sure you are above 500. And I would even say, you know, shoot for a couple of grand, um, a couple, you know, a couple of thousand connections. And this way you are now exponentially able to be found in a lot more second and third degree connections who search for people like you. So that is how we do it. And when you are found on LinkedIn, people will most likely ask you for a resume. So to make sure your resume is up to speed, feel free to join me at my uh, on-demand LinkedIn train, I'm, I'm sorry, my on-demand resume training. Um, so this way, everything that you did today on LinkedIn, when it starts to work, you could, they're gonna want your resume, go to ondemandresumetraining.com and you'll be able to watch that at your convenience um, where I go through not only how to structure your resume to uh, help you land interviews, but also the job landing tactics you need to do of which these three things that I just told you today definitely are um, a good start. And then I give you more job search strategy tips on how to use your resume and your profile um, to land interviews. So go to ondemandresumetraining.com and uh, you can watch that on demand and this way you'll be set to go. So if you like this video, I'm gonna ask you to like it. If you know someone who will benefit from this video, I'm gonna ask you to share it. Please subscribe to the channels um, or hit the bell on my LinkedIn post, whether you're watching this on LinkedIn or YouTube, just subscribe or hit the bell so this way and follow me so this way you don't miss next week's video. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to add them below um, in the comments or DM me or send me an email at lr at chameleonresumes.com. Do my best to reply to each and every comment and email and uh, DM to the best of my ability. And I love hearing from you. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. See you next time.